Now on three and two to Utley with Rollins leading from second. Here's the pitch from Beckett. Call strike three and a no hitter. Baseball on tap from Fenway Park in Boston. It's the Yankees and the Red Sox coming up next. Now from Fenway Park here in Boston. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the New York Yankees and their bitter rivals, the Boston Red Sox. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here for this AL East matchup. I'll be joined in the booth shortly by longtime big leaguers Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. But first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting New York Yankees. As Joe Girardi's starting nine assembles this way. They'll tee it up against the ever-improving right-hander Rick Porcello. Brett Gardner will step to the plate now as we're ready to get this one underway. We are underway from Fenway as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Here comes the 1-0. Good swing there by Gardner as he hooks this one foul down into the seats in right. Ready now on one and one. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Our temperature should get us up into the 70s as we move along, 68 at first pitch. Here comes a 1-2. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Throw by Sandoval is in time, one away. So a ground out to third is how we'll start things out. And with that, let's take a look at the Red Sox defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in the dangerous switch hitter, Chase Headley. Now here's the first pitch. And this one runs up high, ball one. The 1-0 pitch. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. And on 2-0, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but... I would maybe think about something else. Two zero on the way. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Here it comes, two and one. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. And they know full well the threat that this guy poses. So even down three and one. I can't imagine he's going to get anything that he can drive right here. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Just underway here at Fenway Park. Full count pitch on its way. And there's a swing and a miss by Headley as he set down on strikes for the second out. Well, what do you do when you have a lot of outfield depth? Well, you try to package some of it up and get yourself a frontline starter. And that's exactly what the Red Sox did. Trading Ioannis Cespedes for this man, Rick Porcello. Porcello's off to a good start as he gets his first strike out of the ballgame. Jacoby Ellsbury will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. First pitch coming. 
first pitch of the at-bat is lifted in the air out to left. Ramirez is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. Yankees nothing, Red Sox coming to bat. You're dialed in to the show. Starting lineup for the Red Sox looks like this. Masahiro Tanaka gets the ball to face them, and I think the one key will be how aggressive he is on the mound. He's got to get the ball and go right after hitters because he can get into trouble when he nitpicks and falls behind. And a look now at the defensive alignment for the Yankees behind him. Shane Victorino will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Leading off for the Red Sox. Right fielder, Shane Victorino. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. Pitch home to Victorino. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And you know, I think it's going to be important that when guys get their pitches, they take advantage. There it looked like he was taken all the way, and he may not get another pitch that catches that much of the plate. 1-1 one, one on the way. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Here comes the one, two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Two, two pitch on the way. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here he comes on two and two. And a swing and a miss by Victorino as he set down for the first out of the inning. And obviously, any time you can strike this guy up, you'll take it. I mean, he runs like a greyhound out there. So even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. Pedroia waiting, the 1-0. -oh. Fastball high, and it's quickly 2-0. One out, nobody on. 2-0 count, the pitch. And here's a fastball for a strike, 2-1 and one now. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for, but on 2-0, and oh, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. Fastball, and he's got to duck away for dear life there. You worry a little about things snowballing from here? Well, you know, these are two teams that don't traditionally care for each other too much, so we've seen this go south before. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. And after that call, you know he's got to be turning around to say something like, hey, you know what? This guy doesn't need any help. 3-2 now to Pedroia. 
And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. He'll try it again, three and two. Out of play. So three, two, one more time. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And that will end up a foul ball. Once again, a 3-2. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still 3-2. and two. The next 3-2. Foul back. This is indeed a battle. The 11th pitch coming up. Three and two, here it is. This is headed toward the hole and through the hole. A one-out single. Yeah, a one-out base runner here in the bottom of the first. Now you've got the three, four, five guys coming up. Let's see if they can turn this into the first run of the ball game. David Ortiz will get his first shot now with the runner at first following the one-out single. First pitch on the way. Out in front, but this is skied into straightaway right. Camping under it is Beltron, and he takes it for route number two. And as you can see, this pitch is away from him, but he's up there trying to pull the ball. You've got to know where you are. I mean, in this ballpark, if you just flip that pitch the other way, you've got a 37-foot wall down there to play with in left field. Here's Hanley Ramirez, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. He waits. Now the pitch. Outside for a ball, one and one. That's what you have to do against a big sweeping slider like that. It starts in the zone, and it's probably going to finish out of the zone. So that's a good job just to lay off. The 1-1. One, one. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Now the 1-2. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Red Sox lead one. We played an inning. No score. Mark Teixeira leads things off now in the top half of the second. First baseman, number 25, Mark Teixeira. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. A little late on the fastball here as this is bounced foul just off to the left, strike one. Now here it comes. And that misses one and one. Here's the one one home to Tex. Slice down the left side, but foul. The right hander deals on one and two to two balls and two strikes now. Two-two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. You don't want to lose the leadoff hitter here. <laughs> Not when you got this guy on deck. We got your number to hit. Here's the three-two pitch. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. 
the 3-2 pitch. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Another full count pitch home. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. Another payoff pitch. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. You'll get a good look at the grip on his two-seam fastball. You grip it along the narrower seams on the baseball, and that gives it that running action you don't see on the four-seamers. Here's Carlos Beltran. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. And now pitch on the way. And this is fouled into the seats over from first. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. There to get it is Pedroia. Throw on to Napoli, takes care of him. Two away now. Batting six, the catcher number 34, Brian. Brian McCann will stand in here, looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. And on the mound here, you got to make sure you pitch to the ship. You don't want to make it easier for a guy to go the other way on you. No score here as we play inning number two. Here's the pitch. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. Now the pitch. Woo! Well, the shift won't matter here as this is skied out to center field. And Castillo able to make the catch for the final out of the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Pablo Sandoval will lead things off here as they'll have five, six, and seven due up to start the home second. Here's the first offering. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Yeah, those are the ones you like to start in that bat especially your first time up. I agree. Give me a nice easy one in the dirt that I can take so I can really get ahead in that count early. The 1-0. -oh. And he swings on top and sends it on the ground out to second. Throw on to first by Drew and that's out number one. Napoli will get his first opportunity now. First offering on the way. And good contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. Ellsbury is there as he had to travel a ways, but he makes the catch deep in the alley for the second out. And there's an awful lot of room out there in right center. So even though this ball's hit pretty well, had a little too much loft to it, so winds up a fairly routine fly ball. Ruzne Castillo get his first chance now, trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. And here's the first pitch. 
Hey. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Well, and he's got a great splitter. Now you're talking 88 miles an hour. You think you can hit it, but it just disappears on you. Now here's the pitch. Here we go. Nope. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Here's the one one. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but a foul ball one and two now. Bottom of the second here with no score. Here's the one two. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Garrett Jones will stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. First pitch coming. There's Porcello back at it now as he gets ahead of the leadoff man. No balls and a strike. You like what you've seen from this guy so far? I do. I, I like where he's putting the fastball, and I like the movement he's been getting on both his curveball and changeup. I think he'll do well. Wait. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. And the pitch. Off-speed pitch Two in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Ready with the 2-1. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. The 2-2 coming. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. And this is a two-seam fastball with a little bit of life to it. I mean, they'll often run east to west or vice versa, depending on the pitcher's handedness. He just had no answer for this one. Stephen Drew will stand in and he'll be treated to a nice ovation here as one of the members of the 2013 club that of course won a World Series title here at Fenway Park. That is just so nice to see and I think that will always be a pretty special memory around these parts. Now here's the first pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Third inning, no score to this point. Drew waiting, the 1-0. Still won't get him to fish downstairs, and it's 2-0 now. Well, it's looking like this might be their best chance to get that first base runner out there. And really, this has been one of the few guys that's even been ahead in the count. Down low, and the plot thickens here, 3-0. Didi Gregorius waits on deck. Now the three and zero oh offering. That one's in there, three and one. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on two and zero. Oh. Now the three one pitch. And Drew will lay off that one. It's ball four. Still no hits on the ledger, but at least they get themselves a base runner here, and that's a step in the right direction. Didi Gregorius will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away.
He's ready now. The pitch. Now a swing and a line drive over Pedroia and into right center for a solid single. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. And this has been the bottom third of the order getting on base. They're the ones creating the scoring opportunity. Now it's going to be up to the top of the lineup to make sure it wasn't in vain. Brett Gardner will get a second shot now. He grounded out to start the ball game. First pitch coming. Fastball in there for a called strike. And with his speed, contact probably means a run right here. So that's got to be his only thought process at the plate. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. He's ready. Now the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Big pitch here, one and two. And this will be fouled away. He's set, now the pitch. And the fastball, easy to lay off that time, two and two. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. comes a 2-2 and this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat so we'll have to do it again still two and two ready with another 2-2 two -two. curveball and he buckled him but it's full three and two you have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here I was thinking the same thing no free rides you got to make these guys earn it Now the three and two pick. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. What a flip for one. On to Napoli. It's a double play and the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We play two and a half. No score on the show. Xander Bogart makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Here's the first offering. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. That's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. And even on 0-2, you don't want guys to get into a comfort level up there. One, two. And this is lined into right field, and he's aboard here with the leadoff single. Not a bad guy to have hitting in your eight spot. That guy's no slouch up there. Comes through with a solid single here. Christian Vasquez will get his first shot at it here. pitch to him now a bunt attempt and it looks like a good one 
Only play to first, so the sacrifice works that time. Well, you have to imagine that this one figures to be tight throughout the entire game. So that's a good job of getting the bunt down right there and getting that go-ahead run up to second base with just one out. Shane Victorino will stand in here. He was set down on strikes to start the home first. Now the first pitch. And he starts him out with a splitter for a cold strike. From the stretch. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And they're going to strike first this afternoon as this is down for extra bases. In with it quickly is Ellsbury, and that'll hold the runner at third. Dustin Pedroia will dig in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to take the lead here in the early going. Now the first pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. From the belt, kicks and deals. And here's one that misses to Pedroia, and the count evens at one and one. Yeah, after that last swing, I would have thought they'd go right back in, but that's actually not a bad location because I doubt he was looking for something out there. Fastball called strike, one and two. Well, nothing fancy, three fastballs so far in this at bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. Put one in the bleaches. The one and two with one away. And Pedroia swings through that one as he set down on strikes for the second out. With one out, definitely a strikeout situation with two men in scoring position. And that is a great pitch right there to pick up a very important second out. MVP! MVP! Here comes the DH now, David Ortiz. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. one -oh on the way. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. The one one. And that's taken up and in for ball two. Oh, with every pitch it misses, he just keeps digging himself a deeper and deeper hole. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. 2-1. Here's a swing and a miss at the hard splitter, even at two. Now with two strikes? Boy, if he could come up with back-to-back -back punch outs, wouldn't that be something? The 2-2. Two -two. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. So he's able to tightrope it out of danger here. And the inning is over. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. We return to Fenway Park after this. Chase Headley will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Third baseman, Chase Headley. Now here's the first pitch. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. The next pitch. Taken the other way toward left center and fairly deep. 
And a dive out there in left center, but he can't come up with it. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. And you know, in the offseason, there were a handful of clubs bidding pretty heavily for Headley's services. The Giants were in the mix, the Marlins, the Astros. But in the end, he wanted to re-sign with the Yankees all along, and he drives this one for two bases. Jacoby Ellsbury will stand in now with a good chance to break the seal here following the leadoff double. Well, it's a good RBI opportunity, but you've got to remember your first job, which is to at least get that guy over to third base. Now the pitch home to Ellsbury. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Ellsbury waiting on the 1-0. Off the plate again, and it's 2-0. Looks like he's not going to see anything here. Yeah, I don't think so either. They gave him two shots to see if he'd go out of the zone to try to chase. And after that, I'm thinking they should just put him on. The 2-0 on the way. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's 2-1. That's a great call there on 2-0. The whole world's thinking fastball, but they dropped the hammer on him. A 2-1 offering. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2-2 two and two now. Here's the 2-2 two and two offering. Here's a hard-hit ball that'll be caught out there at short. And that'll be the first down of the inning. Well, two hard-hit balls here to start the inning. And this ball was hit even harder than the double was. But unlike his teammate, he's going to end up in the dugout with nothing to show for it. Here's the first baseman, Mark Teixeira, now. Yes, he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Well, you can tell he's trying to work that pitch away, but he might have left that one a little more over the plate than he intended. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Comes set, now the pitch. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And on 0-2, I'd be shocked to see another fastball in the strike zone. Come set, now the pitch. Ah, he can't get him to bite this time. It's one and two. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking here. You've got to put this ball in play. The one two now to Teixeira. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. But one thing he's shown so far, he's not afraid to work inside. Yeah, and with that base open right now, he shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, big deal. Get the next guy. Here's the two and two home. And that swung on and fouled straight back. The two two one more time. Full count, three and two. Waiting in the on-deck circle, there's Carlos Beltran. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. That's just a textbook case right here. By not advancing the runner on that previous at-bat, that would have been a run. Instead, now you've got two outs and a runner only at third. So a man at third here with two gone. And here's the ever-dangerous Carlos Beltran. First pitch coming. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one.
1-0. Fastball, then this one runs in on him as he has to dance out of danger there. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. Now the 2-0 home. In the dirt, it's 3-0 now. Green light here on 3-0. Yeah, I want my run producer swinging the bat. It's my number seven hitter, probably not. Here comes the 3-0. And this is hit hard up the middle. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. The Yanks leave one. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Henley Ramirez will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch on the way. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Now here's the pitch. And Ramirez can't get that one as he swings and misses for strike two. Well, a couple of good swings back to back, but nothing at all to show for it. Here it comes. Has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled off to the right. The next 0-2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Yeah, it, it's so easy to get caught reaching on that pitch. We've seen a few of his teammates do it already. That's a great job to recognize slider and lay off. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at 2-2. Two and two. I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to 3-2. and two. Oh, I think he'd be real happy with a leadoff walk. Something just to get things started against this guy. Three, two, here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him as there's one away. Well, that's just some indecision there on three and two. Well, he's thinking, should I swing? You could just see him try and hold up, but by that point, he'd already broken the plane. That's an easy call. Pablo Sandoval will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's the first offering. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Right now, they'd be lucky to just put one in play. Now here it comes. Here we go. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Throw on to Teixeira, two down. Mike Napoli will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Here's the first pitch to him. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Oof. I'll tell you, you do not want to buzz this guy's tower. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the 1-0. 
And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. This is a good approach when you're facing a pitcher you're not too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now the 2-0. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Here comes the 2 1. A big uppercut there as he popped this straight up. Headley is under this one. As he puts this one away, the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. Brian McCann will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. The catcher, number 34, Brian McCann. First offering on the way. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. All right, four scoreless innings in the books. What's it going to take to push across our first run? Well, I think both pitchers have really dominated so far. This is where getting the leadoff guy on is so key. You know, get the pitcher into the stretch, get him out of his comfort zone, then maybe your offense can go from there. There to take it is Castillo when he makes the play for the first down. I think we expected to see a well-pitched game coming in, and, and we got one. Starting to look like the team who scores first might be the one who wins. Garrett Jones will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. And here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Now the pitch. Fouled straight back. Now the pitch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. The pitch. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. The 2-2 coming now to Jones. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Well, after getting ahead here, 0-2, oh you know, he nibbles for a couple pitches, and then finally just says, all right, I'm through with this. So he goes back to the fastball, just blows it right by. In now, Stephen Drew. As he hey. takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Pitch on the way. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Two out, nobody on. Here's the one one. And Drew able to pull this one hard down the line, but it's going to get back up into the crowd. A foul ball. The one two. I uh, tried to get Drew to go after that one, but it's back to two and two. Now the 2-2 two -two pitch. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Halfway home, still no score. Ruzne Castillo will lead things off here for Boston. Xander Bogart's due to hit next. Now here's the first pitch. 
swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to short. And taken in out there for the first out. One gone in the inning now. Here's Xander Bogarts. First pitch coming. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. And the pitch. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Boy, he is putting on a clinic out there right now. These guys don't know what to look for. Oh, and two home now to Bogarts. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. Oh, this one could have been trouble. But that's a nice play behind the plate to clear himself of the runner and then make a good throw on to first base to get the put out. Christian Vasquez will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Here's the first offering. Here we go. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. The 1 0 home. Out of play off to the right. It's 1 and 1. Look into McCann, the 1 1. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2 and 1. Now the 2-1 pitch. Here we go. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. Here he comes on 2-2. Two two. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. Late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. Teixeira just does this himself at first, and that'll do it. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Didi Gregorius will start things out for the Yankees here in their half of the sixth. Didi Gregorius. First pitch coming. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Oh. 1-0 oh pitch now. Now here's the ball hit sharply toward the right side. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Well, you know, he might not make folks forget about old number two out there, but this kid, Gregorius, can swing it. That's a nice line drive swing right there, and he's on with a leadoff single. And now the Red Sox will get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Here's Brett Gardner now, as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's 
Here's the 1-0. -oh. Runner goes. Well, this is speared by the first baseman. And he'll step on the bag himself for the double play. It turns out he picked the wrong pitch to run on there. His ball's hit hard, but it's right at the first baseman coming off the bag. And he can just walk the first and make it an easy, unassisted double play. Here's Chase Headley. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. The 0-1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1-1. One and one. One one pitch on the way. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Here's the one two pitch now to Headley. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Yankees. Still no score. Shane Victorino will stand in as he'll lead things off for the Red Sox in their half of the sixth. Shane Victorino. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Pitch home to Victorino. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. and Here comes the 2-0. Swing and a liner, but foul. Here's the two and one pitch. To two and two now. Two two pitch on the way. Here we go. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Well, that pitch is so low and such an easy take that you basically waste that opportunity you had on two and two. Full count offering on its way. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. Now in a scoreless game, you got a hunch he may get a green light here. He may want to try and get something to start that one. Dustin Pedroia will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. He seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. Pause, now the pitch. And here's one that misses to Pedroia, and the count evens at one and one. The one one home. And that misses two and one. Sometimes you just let a guy work his own way into trouble and then take advantage. Good eye. 
Pedroia waiting on the 2-1. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3-2. Well, that's an opportunity wasted on the mound there. A right, hitter's got to be defensive on 2-2, two and two, but that was so far yeah. outside, he didn't even have to worry about chasing it. Swing and the ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Payoff pitch one more time. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. There's one. On to Teixeira and two quick outs. And that was quite a battle up there. He made him throw a ton of pitches. An advantage pitcher here as in the end he gets him to ground into the double play. David Ortiz will come on now. And no sooner did it look like they may have something started than the double play took it all away. And that's especially tough when you figure the part of the lineup they're in. These are the guys you want to have hidden with runners on base. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Here we go. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Papa, you're waiting the 1 0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Here's the 1 1 pitch. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. You don't want guys to get too comfortable up there, so. That's a good idea to run something in tight. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the 2-1. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two coming. Lined into left center. And this will be a base hit for Ortiz. Well, even when you keep him in the ballpark, he can be trouble. And here he's right on this pitch, and he smokes it into left field for a solid single. Hanley Ramirez will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. pitch to him and he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate from the belt the pitch now a fastball here not close and it's one and one now a runner on first with two away Now the 1-1 to Ramirez. Swung on and a fair ball rolled weakly up the line at first. And he'll just make the tag himself and the inning is over. One left for the Red Sox. And this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Jacoby Ellsbury will stand in here to start the seventh. EK, it's been a pitching and defense afternoon all throughout. Yeah, neither starter looking like he's ready to blink. Neither one of them looking all that tired just yet. Now the pitch home to Ellsbury. 
In need of a quick inning here, but he starts this one with a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0. And a good swing there on 1-0, but this is in the air out to right field. And the seventh inning starts with a fly out here, one away. One gone here in the Yankee seventh. And standing in the dangerous first baseman, Mark Teixeira. Now the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the 3-4-5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Now here's the pitch. Now the shift won't matter here as this is skied out to center field. Under it, Castillo, and Rusny has it for route number two. The batter. Carlos Beltran will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. Now the first pitch. Ball He'll one. start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Well, you know, things have gone his way more often than not so far this afternoon, but he certainly didn't get any help on that one. Come on, Doc. Two out, nobody on. Here's a 1-0. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Gone! Over the monster for a home run. A solo shot here for Carlos Beltran as the Yankees will grab a 1-0 lead. Boy, and for how well he's pitched so far, it's hard to believe that he could stand to be the losing pitcher, but that's the scenario he faces now as he serves up the lead on this home run. The catcher, number Here's the catcher, Brian McCann. Brian McCann. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Here's the 1-0. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Now he's going to get a visit from his catcher just to make sure he's all right. But you know, this might actually be more of a stall tactic here. I mean, his pitch count, it's starting to get up there. So this might just be to buy a little time for that bullpen. Hits are now even at four apiece. Here comes the 2-0. Too tight with that one. 3-0. I think at this point, a two-out walk isn't the worst thing in the world. You'd like to avoid it if you can, but this can be a dangerous spot if you just groove one. The 3-0. And, oh, he thought that was ball four, but it's called the strike. Three and one now. Yeah, he's still got that good movement on the two-seamer. He's been throwing it well all night long. Three-one on the way. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Now the payoff pitch home. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. The next 3-2. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Now batting, designated hitter, Garrett Jones. Garrett Jones will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Now here's the first pitch. 
Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! A two-run home run for Garrett Jones as the Yankees move out to a 3 to nothing lead. Well, when you give up a clutch homer like that this late in the game that gives the other team a lead, you know you're kicking yourself a little bit. And how are you going to refocus now and get back into this game? Here comes Sox manager John Farrell on his way out to the mound. And that's going to be all now for Rick Porcello. Not an altogether bad performance here, six and two-thirds, but he stands to be the loser unless things can turn around. Your attention, please. Now so a call to the bullpen now, and they'll make a move for the left-hander here. The batter number 14, second baseman. Stepping in now, Stephen Drew as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Okay. Now the 1-0 pitch. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. And Pedroia will make the catch and the inning is over. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. They'll get up and stretch here at Fenway. The Yankees lead it three to nothing. Pablo Sandoval will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ball game. First pitch on the way. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here comes the 1 0. And good patience here from Sandoval. It's 2 0 now. Now the rare 2-0 pitch to Sandoval. 3-0 and oh now. And for this guy to get to 3-0, I mean, that's like going 3-0 to Lions. That tells you just how badly this pitcher's missing. Here it comes, the 3-0. Here we go. A strike and it's three and one. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. The three one is on the way. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. And you know, these guys are at a point where they need to get something going. And I thought for sure this might be just the thing to get him started. But it hangs up there just long enough to find an outfielder's glove. Here's Mike Napoli now. He'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. 
hammered the other way to deep right field. But that'll be off the right field wall. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. Well, you got to think that out there on the mound, he thought that all of his hard work towards getting that shutout might disappear with just one swing of the bat. Here it is. This has got to be the best hit ball they've had all game long. And now they've got a runner in scoring position as they look to finally break through against this guy. Ruzne Castillo will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Here's the first offering. The fastball here is you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Well, this is a spot where it helps to have a two-seam fastball like that so you can work in on the right-handed hitters. The 1-0 on the way. Ready. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw on to Teixeira, two down. The shortstop, number two, Xander Bogarts. Xander Bogarts will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. Here's the first pitch to him. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Has a look, now the pitch. Good changeup, and it's 0-2 oh, home now to Bogarts. In the dirt here, but fortunately here, no advance. Here comes a 1-2. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Red Sox leave one. They trail it here, three to nothing. Didi Gregorius will get us going now in the top Didi half of the eighth. Shortstop, Didi Gregorius. First offering on the way. Lefty against lefty here as this is taken for a ball. 1-0. and oh. Now here's the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here comes the 1-1. Here's a hard hit ball ripped down the first base line. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Here's the lefties offering on one and two. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Here's another one, two. That's and they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. Here comes a two, two. And this will be fouled away. Let's go, Fox. Two, two. Swing and a ball sliced fouled into the seats down the left field line. Now another two, two. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. And you know what, guys? This is a big league battle going on right now. Neither guy wanting to back down. No sign of weakness on either side. Now the three and two pitch. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. 
the left fielder number 11, Brett Gardner. Brett Gardner will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. First pitch coming, and there he goes towards second, fouled back. He waits, now the pitch. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Here's the one one pitch. And this is Pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Here comes the one two. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. One there. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. Well, if you want to go by the numbers, somewhere around 37% of leadoff walks come around to score. Now, EK, I know you didn't know that, but that won't be an issue here as he bounces right back and he gets himself to double play. Here's Chase Headley. And a ball, 1-0. Oh. Well, now he's got to be saying, this is the wrong time for that strike zone to start shrinking. You need that to be the strike. Hot dog here. The 1-0 pitch. 2-0 oh oh now. the 2-0. Now this is swung on and dribbled up the first baseline. Boy, and slow out of the box that time as he's tagged out quickly. The Yanks held in check, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Christian Vasquez will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Well, that man right there is into his eighth inning of work now. Any concerns going forward? Well, I think the only thing you have to worry about is that pitch count you see right there. Other than that, he's earned the right to stay out there. Usually the other team will tell you when you're starting to get tired. Now a ball lined towards center field. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Back into the stretch for him again as we take a look at his line so far. It's almost like he's kept that shutout going with smoke and mirrors because he's definitely given up his share of base runners. They just haven't amounted to anything so far. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And here's the versatile outfielder, Shane Victorino. Now here's the first pitch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. The 1-0. On the ground to third. A stab, and he's got it. On to first by Headley, and there's out number one. A couple of good pitching performances by both clubs here. Three nothing our score as you get a look there at the inning by inning recap through the first seven and change. Dustin Pedroia will stand in, but with the tying run still in the on-deck circle, he needs to get on base somehow. And here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. 
you establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. From the stretch. Another fastball, another called strike, nothing in two now. Yeah, he probably won't have too big a dip in velocity the rest of the way. But the later this game goes, the more important it'll be to watch where his location is. That's probably the bigger concern. From the belt, kicks and deals. This ball's grounded foul. One out and a runner on second base. Hey now, let's go. Here comes another 0-2. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Only play will be the pitcher covering and the runner will advance to third now. Well, let's just see if we can slow this way down and see the point of impact. He's going to be bunched up a little bit on this one and get it right down below the label. And sure enough, that's a great shot right there. This bat just explodes on impact. Here comes the DH now, David Ortiz. And a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take off on you. He's lucky that didn't hit him. 1-0 on the way. That command may be starting to drift a bit. It's 2-0 now. Well, you know, if there's anybody in this lineup capable of getting a rally started, this is the guy right here. He's set. Now the pitch. Outside. 3-0 now. And a good job here of making him throw a lot of pitches. He probably doesn't have a whole lot left in the tank, so the more you make him work, the better your chances of getting a mistake. Here it is, the 3-0. Here's a ball lined into left center field, and it's going to get down for a base hit. In to score easily is the runner from third, and don't look now, they've cut the lead down to two. Well, this is quickly becoming a situation where you'd like your guy to hit the complete game, but you know, once you get into that 115, 120 range, you have to be concerned. Out of the Yankee dugout now is Joe Girardi as he'll head toward the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard, but he cannot lose this one. Adam Warren will take over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Hanley Ramirez will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one. Usually a major force in their offense. Come on, man. Let's go now. Let's go here, man. First pitch coming. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Getting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the at-bat. Come set, now the pitch. Foul back. Pause, now the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Here's another 0-2. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick as that's his third strikeout of the ballgame. A run on two hits in the inning for Boston. Ninth inning coming up. The Yankees lead this one 3-1. Jacoby Ellsbury will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand.
first pitch coming. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. One strike home now to Ellsbury. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Now here it comes. Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. You know, there's no such thing as a routine grounder with this guy. If you take your time, he's going to be safe. He'll beat it out. So that's a nice job of getting rid of it quickly and getting him at first base. Here's the first baseman, Mark Teixeira now. Now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball. The next pitch. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. Yeah, oh. that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so... That's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. Missed with it again, and it's 3-0 and now. Definitely looking fastball there. And you know, he got one, but good recognition not to go up and chase it. Here he comes on 3-0. and And Teixeira wisely lays off that one as it misses for ball four. Now batting, right field. Carlos Beltran will stand in to try it again already with one home run of the ball game and on cue there it was back in the seventh inning a solo shot that provided quite a spark for these guys first pitch to him outside target here and he hits it for strike one From the belt, the pitch. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. I'll say this. He wasn't going to get his arms extended on that one. Now the 1-1. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And Beltron's got himself extra bases as this finds the gap. And this will kick up against the wall near the Red Sox bullpen. Oh, and he misses the stop sign there as he heads for the plate. He's in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Yeah, now in hindsight, you could have had runners in second and third with one out, but they roll the dice there trying to pick up that run from first, and it winds up not working out for him. Here's the catcher, Brian McCann. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter, facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. And he puts a pretty good jolt into this one, high and deep to center. Castillo is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. No damage done after the two out triple. Steve, Eric and I return to Boston after this. Dylan Batances is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Number 68, Dylan Batances. Pablo Sandoval will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. And he'll start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. 1-0. Now 
the 1-0. Fastball, and that thing's a blur up there, folks. One and one. Yeah, there's a good one right there, right over the top. You just fire that thing in there. Look into McCann, the 1-1. One, one. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. Now the 1-2. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Boy, that's a good take there. I don't think I could have laid off that one. Here's the two and two offering. In the air to right center. Ellsbury is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Well, this is what you want out of your closer. Comes in firing darts, and it's a very quick out number one. Mike Napoli will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. Now the first pitch. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Here's the pitch. Ball one. Boy, I don't know that I'd want to be facing this guy right now. He looks pretty fired up out there. Yeah, he, he looks like he could run that fastball through a brick wall. Now the one and one pitch. This one's in there. Maybe should have been strike three, but instead it's one and two now. Bases are empty, one man out. The right-hander deals on one and two. Oh, and he gets plenty of this one, sent out to deep left field. Is it high enough? It is a home run! A solo home run for Mike Napoli. And the Red Sox have cut this to a 3-2 ball game. One rule for being a successful closer, you gotta keep the ball in the ballpark. He's still got a lead to work with after this home run, but his margin for error is pretty much gone now. Into the box now, Rusne Castillo. Trying to lay one down here, but he misses strike one. The pitch. Now one good fastball deserves another as he jumps ahead 0-2 now. Boy, no messing around here in this ninth inning. And that's a closer's mentality. They're not usually the best at setting guys up. They're going to come right at you with their best pitch, and that's usually a fastball. Pitch on the way. And that's lifted in the air out toward left. Gardner is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Alan Craig will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1-0. 
They're definitely making him work out there. He came in trying to shut the door, and he has not had an easy time of it. Yeah, good eye. One zero home. Cold strike at the knees. One and one. Now the pitch, and he lays off for a ball. Two and one. And when you start that pitch off the edge, well, most guys know well enough to lay off. You've got to start it on the edge if you want them to chase. Here's the 2-1 pitch. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Well, he did serve up the home run here to make this one a little bit more interesting. But in the end, he does get the job done, and he nails down the save. This one, definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. And guys, little doubt that the big bat here tonight belonged to this gentleman right here, Carlos Beltran. Don't put that card in your bicycle spokes. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guy. So that's a wrap here this afternoon. For EK, Psycho, and the rest of our crew on Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. The Yankees come out on top 3-2. to two. So long from Fenway. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the victorious Yankees. Three runs, six hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Red Sox, two runs on eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. The winning pitcher is Masahiro Tanaka. The save to Dellen Botansis. Loss goes to Rick Porcello. Time of the ball game. Two hours and 49 minutes. Our paid attendance at Fenway Park this afternoon, 36,298. The Red Sox and Yankees, thank you.